In this video, we are going to take some special cases or some examples in vector addition of two vectors. We are going to discuss few special cases. Let us say there are two vectors, a vector and b vector, which are parallel to each other but they have different lengths. Thus, a vector is not equal to b vector because they have different magnitude and a vector is parallel to b vector. If a vector is parallel to b vector, the angle between a vector and b vector will be equal to 0. What about the sum of these two vectors? How is that we, we are going to add these two vectors? What we have to do? We have to take the tail of one vector and put it on the head of another vector. The third side of the triangle will be the sum of these two vectors which we have done here. We have taken the tail of B vector and placed it on the head of A vector. The third side of the triangle is along the same line and the magnitude of the third side will simply be equal to we can say A vector magnitude plus B vector magnitude. This is the same result we get from the formula when we place theta equal to 0 c vector will become c vector magnitude will become equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 therefore a square plus b square plus 2ab or a plus b whole square under root or a plus b in the next example if a vector and b vector are anti parallel to each other and they have different magnitudes. We want to find what will be a vector plus b vector. a vector is anti parallel to b vector. That means the angle between a vector and b vector is 180 degree. What we have to do is to find the sum of these two vectors. I take the tail of b and place it on the head of a. The third side will be a vector of this much magnitude. It is very easy for me to say that c vector magnitude will simply be equal to a vector minus b vector magnitude in this case. So what we have done, I have taken the tail of 1 and place it on the head of a. The third side is represented by this line whose magnitude in this particular case when the angle between two vectors is 180 degree is equal will be equal to a vector magnitude minus b vector magnitude. If I use the formula placing theta to be equal to 180 degree cos 180 is equal to minus 1. c vector magnitude will become equal to a minus b whole square or c vector magnitude will be equal to a vector magnitude minus b vector magnitude. For example, if there is a block on which two forces are acting in opposite direction 20 newtons each, how is that this block is going to move? We know that the block is not going to move because the net force on the block will become equal to zero. In this case, A vector magnitude is equal to B vector magnitude the c vector will have a net sum equal to 0. The net force on the body is therefore equal to 0. In the third example, if a vector and b vector are perpendicular to each other, we want to find the sum of these two vectors. What we have to do, again place the tail of b on the head of a. The third side will represent the sum of these two vectors. Vectorly, I can write c vector is equal to a vector plus b vector. Remember, c vector has its own direction. c vector has its own magnitude. c vector magnitude is same as the magnitude of the third side of the triangle, which will be equal to c square is equal to a square plus b square. Using the formula and placing theta to be equal to 90 degree, 
c square will become equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos 90 cos 90 is equal to 0 and therefore c will become equal to root of a square plus b square in the next example we take a case where a vector and b vector have same magnitude but they make an angle theta between them thus we have to use different symbols to represent these vectors because even though they have same magnitude they have different directions and we want to find the sum of these two vectors what we have to do I have to take the tail of B and keep it on the head of A the third side of the triangle will be the sum of these two vectors vectorly I can write C vector is equal to A vector plus B vector and the magnitude of C will be equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta in this case because A vector is equal to B vector in magnitude I can write C vector will become equal to A square plus a square plus 2a square cos theta putting b to be equal to a which will be equal to 2a square plus 2a square cos theta which will be equal to a root 2 into under root of 1 plus cos theta now I can use the trigonometrical identity that cos theta is equal to cos square theta by 2 minus sine square theta by 2 which is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1 or I can write it as 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 and thus 1 plus cos theta I can write it as 2 cos square theta by 2 if I put this value of 1 plus cos theta to be equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 I will get C vector is equal to root 2 into a into 1 plus cos theta will become equal to root 2a root 2 cos square theta by 2 which will be equal to 2a cos theta by 2 thus the third side of the triangle will have a magnitude of 2a cos theta by 2 if c makes an angle phi with a this is the angle I want to find then tan phi will be equal to b sin theta upon a plus b cos theta but because a and b are of same magnitude we will have tan phi is equal to sin theta upon 1 plus cos theta now I can, now I can use the trigonometrical identity that sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 upon 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 so this cos theta and cos square theta will get cancelled 2 will get cancelled sin theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2 will be equal to tan theta by 2 tan phi will be equal to tan theta by 2 and therefore phi will be equal to theta by 2 in this case when a vector magnitude comes out to be equal to b vector magnitude and the c vector will be equal to 2a cos theta by 2 it does depends upon the angle between a vector and b vector we could have proved the same result by using some simple geometry for example if in this triangle the two sides are equal this is an isosceles triangle this two angle must also be equal and this is the exterior angle theta exterior angle must be equal to sum of two interior angles on the opposite side this theta will become equal to 2 phi and phi will become equal to theta by 2 we have proved the same result by simple geometry also thus the result we have to remember is if these are the two vectors of equal magnitude the sum of these two vectors will, will be represented by
the third side of the triangle whose magnitude will be equal to 2a cos theta by 2 and it will make an angle phi which will be equal to theta by 2 where theta is the angle between a and b and phi is the angle made by the c vector with the a vector for example if we take a special case of theta to be equal to 120 degree in that case c vector c vector magnitude will be equal to 2a into cos 60 which will be equal to 2a into 1 by 2a the third side will also be of same length a the, what we have done is this is the first vector and this is the second vector which makes an angle 120 degree so this angle will be equal to 60 degree now the third side will also be equal to the, now the third side will also be of the same magnitude as these two sides why because this is actually an equilateral triangle thus the third side will have same magnitude as the other two sides this is an equilateral triangle all the interior angles will be equal to 60 degree similarly if theta is 90 degree and two vectors of same magnitude are to be added c will become equal to 2a cos 45 theta by 2 which will be equal to 2a into 1 by root 2 or root 2a this is again we can get it from geometry this is a right angle triangle with two sides to be equal the third side will be equal to root 2a in this vector form a vector plus b vector is equal to c vector a vector has same magnitude as b vector and the third side has a magnitude is equal to root 2a